Hello and welcome back to Tangled, the series Rapunzel's Adventures with Narcos. Again, we're still in Season 2, Episode 13, and appropriately for a bad luck number outside of my country, this episode is called Curses. So now that our characters are finally returned to mainland and able to reprise their journey, let's see what happens, shall we? Yes. As usual, start before the intro. 3, 2, 1, click. So Rapunzel, do you have the wind under your hair? No. I mean, I'm oh. pretty sure she has. Good to know. <laughs> Apparently she does. Too, Shorty, do you so. have the wind in your hair? No, yes, he has in his beard, Shiroi. Well, beard yeah. is hair, so technically Shiroi is... Oh, yeah, right it was there. beard, wasn't it? Yeah. No, 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 Shiroi. It's usually, usually the way it was. With it, it used to be hair when he was young. Now it became a beard. Again, a beard well, is... Yes. ever young. Again, a beard is still hair, so technically Shiroi uh, is within there. Hey, this looks like that scene from Lion King. No, if anything, it reminds me more of King's Quest V, just with a, a desert canyon instead of a snow. Actually, oh, hey, actually, look! Go on. Oh, hey, look, Rapunzel's back in her Season 1 outfit now. Again, they're really what? cranking out all the outfits for her. Yeah, now, Pedro. for uh, however much it costs. Uh, actually, the this particular canyon reminds me more of that stupid canyon scene in Spirit Untamed where they have to go through various rocks. I mean, I guess in that case that was part of a course considering the environment. Ha. <laughs> uh, you jinxed it. God damn it, Raps. You had one job. You want to go down that giant canyon to find a telescope. Yeah, she's she's already a making a rope out of her hair. You wanted to avoid doing something dangerous by going down the side of a cliff. What are- look, unless you're Tom Cruise, that's pretty dangerous. In fact, it even <laughs> is still dangerous if you're Tom Cruise. He's just an extremely big, extreme junkie. Action junkie. Oh, oh. no. It's Speaker you. is back. What are you doing at the bottom of a canyon? They're traveling on their own. Just don't think about that agonizing trick back up the cliff you're gonna have to make. Um. Oh, he likes you. Stop removing hair bugs from, from Eugene. <laughs> Gasp. No way. <laughs> hey, guys, when you were babies, you were this shy. Of course, gotta pay for it. Sure it would. Pedantics. Oh. For the 
bunk. <laughs> Be impressed, David. No, I think he just has rabies. Well, she... Betty's a curse, I guess. So. Yeah, she did a dabbing motion for a moment there. There's your curse to you. In which order, uh, Eugene? No. There you go, Joel. They addressed the getting back. In case you haven't realized, Rapunzel, she's not the most decent person. Also, the episode is called Curses, so... And again, at least on Disney+, Plus, it's fittingly the 13th one. And there is such a thing as witches, but they and don't yes, cast curses. Like, you're like Fred in the first Scooby Doo movies. There are no monsters once smashes through the window. Yeah. Wah, wah. Ah. There you go, if you're somehow bored of the episode, then uh, there's your wake-up call. At least it's, at least it's not uh, as bleak as Drag Me to Hell. Source Book of Superstitions. Just roll with it, Eugene. True. I mean... You're a wear barefoot. Yeah, you don't wear shoes. Would you say, that's bad luck? <laughs> so do we need, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, John Lasseter in his new movie for this? Uh? <laughs> luck. luck. That's like that movie is literally mediocrity incarnate. I forget. I know somebody who likes it. That may have been. Well, I'm sure there are. It's just that, like, uh... I know. I mean, somebody close to us who likes it. I'm trying to remember what their perspective was on it. I, I have, it, I have so. yet to see that I'm... movie. I am uh, curious. Sure. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah. Well, sure. You also agree. You also told me that you thought luck was med mediocre. What about Alice? Um, I think I told you she said it was the most meh thing she's seen. Yeah, okay, so basically, Jova, both me, Shiroi, and Alice think it's good. God, was it Dej who thought it was good? No, I also watched it with Dej, and Dej also thought it was just eh. Alice so, put it on randomly, so I was just sitting there watching it, and like, also, the most... a particular, also a particular betrayal that Pedro probably knows about, Really didn't sit well with Alice. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say betrayal is in we got, of course, the two-act breakup? No, no, it's it's different to that. I'll message Pedro. <laughs> yeah, no street clothes in the pool. Yeah. He literally just killed fish with his smelliness. I mean, he has to get clean up something, yeah? <laughs> You're yes. pitiful. I mean, he has a point. Huh? <laughs> Anything? I see that you were able to find those ingredients, after all. There. 
Glad I don't look silly oh. in this. Ah, uh, yes. Mm hmm. There's a point again. It turns out this is just a very good facial lotion that they're making, and the curses are just blemishes on the skin. <laughs> Hi, Larry. She knew it was him. She did that on purpose. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out she's just paranoid about the bad luck thing. He didn't even bother with a double pillow tree. So, let me get this straight. You're ready at a moment's notice to beat up somebody entering the caravan, but you weren't able to notice when your charge just left on her own. Oh, I think she had a point. Uh, she knew he was even. She just wanted to do it. Cassandra do be a violent one. <laughs> There you go. We were hey guys, Congratulations. You, now you, you, just, you, just, you just summoned Satan. Good, good job. Found the black hole good job. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when did this episode come out? 2018? Yeah. I guess the so black. 33, 33 years. I guess the black cauldron got drunk after being in so that failure of a movie. So where's the fortune telling pig? He died. Don't you I mean she? Me. Yeah, she. Oh, the she died. died. She died. I mean, a pig's gotta die eventually. Oh god, this thing is out for blood. Dude, you could have moved. I know, right? I panicked. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's like in Monty Python, she right? I panicked. Oh my god. Actually, unlucky. Sorry, Shiri. Comedic timing dictates where they are. Well, what would be more appropriate, white cats? I hope you'll sleep with one eye open. <laughs> I'm not sure where he's going with this. Ah, that's what you're doing. It's small for being a moose tooth. <sighs> that hurt his feelings. Oh, the, the moose will shed those himself. Not sure about the teeth of all, Shiri. Hmm? 
Not sure about the, the antlers. Yes, so the teeth were not so much. No, the, the, those are gone. <laughs> uh oh. You're feeling lucky. <laughs> why, Eugene? I can't imagine why you would be nervous all of a sudden. So, getting lucky, punk. Cassandra, I think you could be doing a little bit more to stop this. Oh, never mind. Oh. I'm surprised you have, like, uh, measurements for perhaps. that. Perhaps. Well, we had to Again, do it somehow. Perhaps, uh, you can kind of tell that the isolation is taking a toll, or uh, so. Hold on. She knows like what said, she's cabin, doing. Like I said, cabin fever. We've been away so long, we've completely gone bananas. Have fun coming back. Invent seatbelts. A, a platform. Nope. Aren't these game designers wonderful? This is like a, it reminds me of that series of unfortunate events that bit from the film when they have to do something like this. Actually, it believes there was also the seeding fellowship of the ring uh, doing the Morgan Mine. So. Oh my god, Shorty, why? Terrible okay. timing! He's, Shorty! He is gone. Have you ever considered. Not talking. He's gone also, from saving us to now possibly dooming us. Don't worry, Raps. You just have to use Dumbo logic and pretend it was just a placebo. To ask, okay, to Shorty's credit, Eugene should have talked to Shorty about the lie. He wasn't in on the lie. To Eugene's credit, for all we know, Eugene did talk to him, and him being Shorty, he literally just forgot. Yeah, but we never saw that, though, did we? I can, uh, well, Jova, I guess. So it's up I, to I speculation. Yeah, I guess it's all speculation. Look, Kraft, it's all about believing in yourself. So a couple oh, episodes yeah, ago, how it happened. so a couple episodes ago, Rapunzel lied, and now this episode, Eugene lied. Well, I curse is passing around everyone. I mean, you gotta understand the context here, dude. Yeah, it's like... not even a case of asking; you just found it. Oh. So they did explain it. <laughs> There you go. So, he didn't even know it was Shorty's tooth. It was just a tooth that happened to match in a moose. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Just take the cursed soda drink cat to its original owner, Smitty Worm and Jacob and Jen. Oh, sorry, wrong show. Even I, as a woman, can't squeal as highly as Lance can. Huh. I'm pretty. It's sure, quite. I'm pre it's quite impressive. Sure, sure, I'm pretty sure James Monroe can squeal in a frequency that only dogs can hear. <laughs> uh, we shall fight on on the beaches. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Get uh, out! Uh, 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 Very funny. <laughs> Whatever that means. Make it so, number one. Unless, by hook, she's talking about the horse gear. <laughs> Alright, only two more platforms. Come on, perhaps. You can do this. Hold on. Oh. 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 Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we can spirit our way out of this. Well, maybe we'll happen to something spirit running free. A tornado will come out of nowhere and fly them across. A tornado is carrying a carriage. <laughs> All right, there's a tornado. <laughs> Oh. 
rocket science. <laughs> and there you go. Once I'm, and there you go. And there you go. Uh, Shorty's tooth. Uh, well, saves not, not the day. Tooth. Once saves again, day. Shorty saves the day. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> Uh, I think they might have got a bit too far. <laughs> and amazingly, the carrots oh, did not great, break. Though. Can we do it again, Mom? I guess we'll have to on our way back. Rapunzel's now an adrenaline junkie. Oh god, so she she's going to become... The... So basically, she's going to become the Tom Cruise of Disney princesses. Obsessed with Scientology? No, she'll be doing her own stunts. Oh, she won well, I mean, she does a lot of running as well, so So yeah, we've come to a conclusion, I guess. That uh that hack okay, really was just a hack. No valor. So the moral of the story is stop bloody lying. <laughs> I can't believe Eugenie's fucking dead. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Multi job scare. Monkey's uncle. Ha 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 ha. I don't know what this. I'm sure that meant nothing. Eh. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's a tree in a forest! <laughs> Look at a tree! A tree! It's you like, know... Uh, the... Look out the window! There's a tree! <laughs> you know... The man has lost it. You know, this implies that Vigor and his owner somehow found another way across. Who knows, but I'm sure we'll never see Vigor again anyway, so... I like ah. how this episode pretty much confirms that, yeah, the hag kind of is a swindler. Like, if there was any doubt or ambiguousness about it, nope, turns out she was lying. Like, I'll admit, the first time I saw this episode, I thought that this was going to be... The punchline was that it was actually her telescope, but no. Nope, she was legit just a swindler. Goddamn. Alas, so still, I, again, enjoy an enjoyable episode, but uh, I, again, not just for what you just said, Jova, but it goes a bit against uh, what I initially may have thought uh, it would have went. Uh, you know, the idea that uh, uh, he was not instead uh, reject, you know, giving in onto the demand of who he cast the curse or countering effectively, what, or ignoring completely. What Rapunzel did was literally just weaponize something else and you know go through that that was actually pretty interesting uh, mm -hmm. to tackle that but yeah the journey continues uh, in the next episode which is called the eye of Incosta. okay yes all right see ya see ya, see ya. See ya.